Hello friends, welcome to Safax World. This is episode 2 of Value of Money. In case if you haven't watched part 1 of this video, the link to the video will be in description and pinned in the comment box too. Enjoy. Hey Samir, we both were depending on our parents, but they have kicked both of us from our houses. Yeah Jay, I guess we should get a job now. So both Jay and Samir got to work at a fast food restaurant. Hey Jay, we should change our job, this work is not giving us good salary. Yeah, if I studied well, I would have got a better job and I wouldn't be searching for a job like a nomad. Even though they were not satisfied with their jobs, they worked hard and earned money which was enough to run their daily life. One day, Jay met a very annoying customer. What do you want sir? One cappuccino please. Sir. For your kind information this is a fast food restaurant and not a cafe. We sell fries, burgers, pizza and stuffs like that. Now, just shut up and give me what I ordered. Behave properly sir, this is a public place where people come in and go out. Don't say me how to behave, do you know who I am? It doesn't matter who you are sir, just leave this place or I will call the cops. Oh, are you that brave to call cops on me? Let me see whether you can call them when I'm here. Jay and the customer hurted themselves very badly while fighting. So, the people near them called cops on both of them. An Inspector Rishi arrived at the spot and arrested both of them. I'm Inspector Rishi and I have complained that you and a person have created a ruckus in a public place. Sir, I swear that I haven't done anything wrong. It was all the problem of that annoying customer. So, if you haven't done the crime, then can you please explain what happened at that place in detail? Ah. Uh, sure sir. I was having my daily work, a person entered the restaurant and demanded a cappuccino coffee. I said him that it's a fast food restaurant and not a cafeteria. Then? Sir that guy got angry on me for no reason and started to break things in our restaurant. I guess you are clear. Please wait outside until I investigate that customer too. Okay sir. May I know what's your name? The name's Josh. So Josh, may I know the reason behind creating the nuisance in the restaurant? Sir, it's all the mistake of the cash register guy. And stop blaming those things on me. Are you an alcoholic? So what? I have a doubt that after consuming alcohol, you have lost your senses and have created a nuisance in the restaurant. Sir, this is the last warning I'm giving you. I am not guilty. Just let me free. No, I'm going to put you and Jay in jail for destroying public properties. Sir, why are you arresting me? I have done no crime. Yeah, I know that. But instead of fighting that guy and if you call the police, I would be declaring you as non-guilty. Pay the fine and I'll let you free. Fine. Meanwhile, Samir went to Jai's house and spoke to his mother. I shouldn't have done to Jay like that. I am regretting a lot now. Excuse me, Auntie. It's Samir here. Come in, Samir. What happened, Samir? They arrested Jay, Auntie. Oh no, what will I do now? They are asking to pay a fine to let Jay free, Auntie. Okay, can you please come with me to the police station so that I can pay the fine? Sure, Auntie. Both Jay's mom and Samir went to police station and paid the fine. They let Jay free. Meanwhile, Samir felt relieved and went back to his home and asked his mom sorry. Samir's mom felt bad too and allowed Samir inside her house. At the same time, both Jay and Jay's mom went to a park and sat on a bench. I'm sorry mom, I'll never do a thing like this again. It's okay son, there's my mistake involved in this too, so here's a sorry from my side. Mom, I promise that I'll find a good job and manage our house bills. Now, that's my son. Both Jay and his mother went back to home. And Jay found a proper job and he managed his house and his mother too.